So Tommy, obviously a very entertaining game of football out there for the neutral, um, but a bit heartbreaking for us to lose it at the end. What are your thoughts after that? Exactly what you just said there, heartbreaking. Um, I think it was two good sides. I thought both sides posed a real, real attack and threat um, in a similar way. Uh, I think the difference being um, they had a few more, more senior men in their team that understood the difference between when to play and when not to play and when to take risk and not take risk or where or where to take risk moreover um, and that's something we've got to learn um, yeah I'm gutted that we didn't take something from the game I'm delighted with a lot of the, a lot of what we did and um, we scored three really good goals but we just have an Achilles heel at the moment weirdly I'm using that term um, that we just were too vulnerable but I mean I'm just had a chat there with uh, with Paul and, and he feels the same about his team you know he, he was very very pleasant and he's uh He's praised for the way we've attacked them. There's not many teams that do that, but um, yeah, it, it, at the moment I'm still smarting from the fact that we didn't take something from the game after scoring three goals at home. That's absolutely cruel. Obviously, three-one down. You know, it, some sides might have seen that as game over, but not us. We clawed it back to three. All that. That's definitely a positive for the fight yeah. that the lads show. Uh, listen, I'm, I'm, there's nothing wrong with our effort, our application as a group of people. That's the bench and the people on the pitch. Sometimes there's there's intelligence, there's intelligent effort, and there's just effort. A lot of people. Are, to people who don't understand what the instructions have been to the players will say, well, he's had a great game. Well, actually, he hasn't because he's run all over the place and he hasn't been exactly where he should be. And I think as the game went on, we started to get that, hence we got back into the game as we did. But, like I said, we've shot ourselves in the foot. It's happened too many times now. It's something I've got to, I've got to make uh, real decisions about um, because we're not defending our box well enough and that can't happen in this league. You get punished because you've seen that. Kobe Rowe was missing from the squad today. Mm. Was that an injury thing? No, he, he was ill. He, he didn't. He wasn't able to get the train yesterday. We think it's a stomach bug. Hopefully, it's only a couple of day thing. Um, but he wasn't. He wasn't well enough this morning when we spoke to him. Uh, so that that was a that was a huge blow to us. Um, obviously, his presence at the set play, at the set play defensively and attacking wise would have been a, a plus for us today. But listen, we are where we are. Um, we're disappointed as a group with the, with the defeat, but we're not disappointed with the performance. A lot of the performance, um, like you said, we've got to move up, move it straight to the back of the, the shelf and go on to the next game. We've got a long trip up the file on uh, Friday to play Saturday, so we're, we're focused is totally on that now. Well, hey, I mean Chesterfield have been heavily tipped, haven't they, to go up? They've signed some really good players from divisions way above where we are now, and we've just pretty much gone toe to toe with them. So that's definitely, you know, something very encouraging, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, you mentioned to me last season there was a game similar here against Wrexham, I believe. On a one-off day, we can beat or play against any team in this division. We won't have the sustainability they have because of the depth in the squad, I would guess, and, and the age and the maturity of the squad. We're, we're slightly behind in that, but as a football club, I'm delighted where we've got to so far this season with our performances. I understand that everybody wants to win every game, so do I. I'm, I'm gutted that we've lost that game. Um, and I'll, I'll tell you now, Paul's just told me he'd have shook hands at 3 all. He said I'd, I'd have taken a point, Tom. I went, fair enough. So, yeah, re really nice praise from their end. Um, like I said to you, and I if people ever read the programme notes, I'll never change my delivery, I'll never change my message. If certain players don't change their way on occasions, then they'll have to change.